welcome to my Bali vegan food guide. I was in Bali for four weeks and I was moving around the island and I checked out all the vegan food there. So I just want to give you a food tour going from Kuta to Lovina to Singaraja to Ubud to Changu and then to Uluwatu. I'll talk about the places that I love and places that I wouldn't recommend so much, although they might be hyped and stuff like that. And I'll show you my food impressions. So let's dive into it. On the first night, exactly next to my hostel, there was a place called Vegan Bali. That creative name though. Anyway, they have great sweet stuff there. I really like the smoothie bowl and a lot of Balinese traditional food. And a fucking chickpea omelet. I even took this one as a takeaway with me in the plane. <laughs> But the mango juice was terrible, so they redid it and it was the same shit again. So afterwards they told me, oh, mango's not in season, that's why it's not good. But I complained about it and then they didn't let me pay for it, which was really nice. And they even gave me cookies. Oh. Another one of the few vegan places in Kuta labels everything and is super cheap Varung style. And they have vegan burgers. In Lovina, the choice for vegans is just sad. A car cafe is really expensive, has small portions and not even a lot of options for vegans. Jarring Kitchen has quite some vegan options, but for me, it's too mock meaty. It really tasted almost like shrimp, which was crazy and I don't like it. The black rice pudding was way too liquidy. But there are vegan sushi options. But I was working in Lovina, so I got all the food for free and they customized it for me and always made it from scratch in Totally Vegan. It was awesome. The best thing was the beans with tempeh and rice. Mm. If you want to know how I did this work and travel thing in Bali, just check out the other video I made about exactly this topic. In Singaraja, they have Loving Hut, which is a place they have all over Southeast Asia, pretty much. And they always have cheap vegan local cuisine. And the satay there was actually really good. The other place in Singaraja has a really cool venue because you can watch the people cook the food directly in front of you. Furthermore, it's super cheap. It's around 50 European cents. For me, a bit too much mock meat, but super friendly stuff. Very talkative, nice people. I love it. I got myself some vegetarian krupuk. It looks like this. It's usually made out of shrimp. I made that guy in the shop explain to me literally every single thing, but I forgot again. So I think it's made out of tapioca starch and rice. Let's go. Nice. It's really good. It's almost like rice waffles, but a little bit more crispy. When I was way outside with the scooter, I was looking for a place that could still accommodate vegans. The option I wanted was not vegan, but just letting you know that you can always talk to them and ask them. So I just asked them to leave out the yogurt and then it was fine for me. On the total contrary, in Ubud, there's always vegan options. But my advice is you really don't need to go for the expensive places. By saying expensive, I mean the local relations, so practically everything that is more than three euros for a meal. I was really disappointed by some expensive choices. For example, Earth Cafe had a super bitter wrap that was terrible and Clear Cafe's portion size was just so small. But the interior design is so beautiful though. I was not disappointed by Moxa. They had an awesome raw lasagna, but it was too small. So why go for those options for more than three euros when you could get a whole vegan buffet for three euros? There are two places directly next to each other and they are both so awesome. They are completely vegan and they always even refill their stuff. But my total favorite in Ubud is Fussy Bird. It's a gluten-free place, but they have so many vegan options and they are absolutely crushing the smoothie bowls. Otherwise, you can just go for some really good varungs. For example, healthy varung is really good and also deva varung. But Healthy Varung is definitely too oily to actually call themselves healthy. But anyway, just some advice for you because there are a lot of local foods that are all vegan. Sometimes they put egg in it, so just be sure to ask beforehand. But you can always go for stuff like mee goreng, nasi champur, gado gado. This is usually totally safe. Wulan is a totally vegan Varung and they have really nice dessert options. If you want to try something more exotic, definitely go for Bingsu. At the same place, they also have vegan pies. I don't know why, but it's pretty cool. I haven't tried it, but you can try it for me though. Also, Changu's vegan food choice is just mind blowing. But I wouldn't go for this place because it's expensive and they don't have good vegan options. I mean, come on. 
lukewarm avocado. This is the deal breaker for me. But there was also a full vegan place that I just didn't like at all. The buckwheat pancakes were not sweet at all. I was so frustrated that I went to a super expensive place directly afterwards to just treat myself with something good. The location was so fancy, they even had a pool. It was so worth it because it was the best banana chai latte that I ever had in my life. And probably anyway, the first banana chai latte that I ever had in my life. But the good thing about Oma Jamu is that they have a free buffet on Fridays. And when I say free, I mean like completely, literally free. Just try to be there at around 8 a.m. and then you'll be good to go. Like I said, not the best food I ever had, but it's free. How can you say no to that? Of course, please check the date of the video when I uploaded it. So don't run there and be like, oh, you said it's free and now it's not there anymore. But definitely the best breakfast place in Changu is Crate. It's super hipstery, it's always full, but you get the most giant portions just for three euros. Wow. And their smoothie bowls are just bomb. I just think the drinks are overpriced and totally not worth it. If you're on a budget, you should definitely go to Varuna Varung because you can customize your own plate for just one euro. You get a full plate and they have a lot of veggies and tempeh. I also had some more expensive and kind of average food, but I also found a really good vegan ice cream. Uluwatu really has limited choices for a higher price, but I really like the Vietnamese place I've been to. The food is not super authentic, but still super delicious, and I talked like an hour with the owner because he was really nice and a cool guy. So send my greetings to him when you're going there. They have like one vegan resto there and it's really cheap but the portions are also kind of small but it's not bad, it's okay. And if you really cannot find anything good around the area where you are, just get some of the super ripe and awesome fruits. All right, that was my food guide to Bali. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's helpful to you. When I came back from Bali, I also decided to really go full vegan and just see how I roll with it and everything. And I'm excited. So if you still have some awesome food recommendations, definitely leave them in the comments below. I would be super happy to hear about them. Check out my other travel vlogs and stuff like that. And I'll see you in the next one and on my social media. So bye bye guys.